Today is Valentine's Day, and love is definitely in the air. To celebrate the sexiest holiday this side of Arbor Day, I wanted to talk about video gaming's greatest love affair. No, I'm not talking about Mario and the Princess, Cloud and Aerith, or even a boy and his blob, but rather the 8-bit lovers Lolo and Lala from the Adventures of Lolo trilogy. Released annually between 1989 and 1991, these are three of the best 8-bit puzzle games of all time. And you know what? Their endings are pretty great too! Turn back now if you don't want to know what happens next, because today we're going to spoil the stories and endings for the complete Adventures of Lolo trilogy on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is Game Over, the early years. The first thing you need to know about Adventures of Lolo is that it takes place in the country of Eden. When the Great Devil threatens destruction on the peaceful country, the King of Eden sends his daughter, Princess Lala, to seek help from the neighboring nations. However, on the way back, the Great Devil decides to kidnap Lala right in front of the love of her life, Lolo. Now, while Lolo may not be big and strong, he does have a high IQ and a whole lot of patience. Best of all, he's really good at solving puzzles, which is exactly why he was sent to the Devil's Haunted Castle to rescue Lala. You see, the Haunted Castle is filled with floor after floor of devilishly challenging puzzles, and Lolo is going to need to solve every single one of them if he hopes to save the love of his life. Thankfully, that's exactly what happens. Our hero successfully solves every last puzzle, taking him to the Great Devil's Lair. And this is what happens next. Believe it or not, Adventures of Lolo 2 takes place immediately after the first game. Lolo and Lala didn't even get a chance to celebrate because on their way back from the haunted castle, our heroes were confronted by the real power of the land, the King of Eggerland himself. No, this is not a new character or anything, but rather the great devil that was mentioned in the first game's instruction manual. I guess they decided to soften the name for the sequel. Either way, he reveals that the labyrinth was only a preliminary test, because the real battle is in the tower. Perhaps sensing a lack of motivation, the blue villain once again nabs Lala and takes her to the castle in the clouds. Now, there's a whole side story where Lala was able to analyze all the puzzles on the way up and then leave little clues for Lolo. You know what, we're just not going to bother with any of that because it really doesn't have anything to do with the ending. Instead, what we're going to do is fast forward to the intense one-on-one -on -one battle with the Great Devil, or I'm sorry, I mean the King of Eggerland. Lolo uses his mind and muscle to slay the beast, and this is what happens next.
All right, so you'll be happy to know that Lolo and Lala finally had some time to celebrate their victory because Adventures of Lolo 3 takes place many years after the events of the last game. But all that changes when a mysterious new villain flies into town, sprinkles a bunch of dust, and then turns everybody into stone. Well, everybody except for Lolo and Lala, who were celebrating their love at the nearby river and just missed all of the action entirely. Now it's up for the only two people in the kingdom to do what they do best, which is solve a bunch of brain-teasing puzzles. So, I bet you're wondering who this new villain is. Well, in a plot twist that you probably saw coming a mile away, it's actually the new king of Eggerland, the son and heir of the Great Devil. <laughs> That's right, the game's back to calling him the Great Devil. They're just giving no fucks with this final installment. The good news is that Lala isn't kidnapped this time around, allowing her to tag along and even solve some of the puzzles. Now, much like the last game, our heroes eventually make their way to a one-on-one -on -one fight with the new King of Ireland. But before Lolo could defeat him, he's knocked out and the monster escapes into the underground dungeons. Now it's up to Lala to solve a bunch of new puzzles and finish the job. She eventually catches up with him at the end of the road, and this is the true final fight. Having been saved twice already, Lala wants to reverse the tables and save Lolo for a change. That's right, it's time to finally defeat the Eggerland bloodline once and for all. And with that taken care of, this is what happens next. You know, for a puzzle game, Adventures of Lolo has a surprisingly sweet story. Sure, two of the games involved saving the damsel in distress, which isn't exactly original, but I do like that they eventually bucked that trope in the final game and made it a true story of revenge. It takes the power of love to defeat the King of Eglin once and for all, and the endings do a good job of making you care about these two blue and pink gumballs. They're simple, no doubt about it, but I like these three endings. The truth is, I love Adventures of Lolo. All three of these games are fantastic, with clever puzzles and likable characters. It's a real shame that the series stopped here, as I could see this working in 3D. It's time to remake this trilogy, or maybe bring out a brand new installment. I mean, it would be a perfect fit on the Switch. How has this not happened yet? I want to see Lolo and Lala have to go up against mirror versions of themselves, like Lola and Lalo. Maybe the great devil comes out in a big twist, solve a bunch of challenging puzzles, it'll be great! Somebody should really make this happen. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Game Over, the early years. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new episodes almost every week. In fact, we have a whole playlist with more than 170 of these videos. 
you should go and check them out. Especially if you're alone this Valentine's Day. Just binge watch the whole thing. I'll keep you company. That's not weird. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite adventure of Lolo ending? Look, I suspect this is going to come down to a battle between two and three. So I'm excited to see who comes out on top. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a review of Grapple Dog, plus a whole lot more. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.